Kenny's now in the 2 deep. How does that change you offensively? Uh, it doesn't. So, the Dan McSurdy's been uh, very good uh, filling in uh, for Xavier and uh, and Ja'Cory Ford and Nico Hayes will be ready to go and we'll go as we as we usually have gone. When someone says, listen, listen on the 2 deep that you guys have known for a while that X was not going to be ready to go, the, the time to prepare, and I assume mentally just for the guys behind X, because guys like Nico and Ja'Cory might have more carries in that game than they have all season. Yeah, it's always, uh, it's always a, a benefit to have guys uh, getting enough practice reps preparing to play, um, knowing ahead of time that, uh, that you're going to play. So, I mean, that's, that's valuable experience that they, they're uh, getting ready to, to perform. And, and we have confidence that they will perform at the level that we expect them to. You've mentioned all year that Dan McSurdy has been such a valuable asset because he's been able to spell X, but he's never been the feature guy. Is he the workhorse X can be with 25 carries? Well, we'll find out. <laughs> and that's, you know, I, I think you got to count on more than just one guy um, when you're playing that many plays and going that fast. So the other guys are going to get chances and, and we're going to see, you know, how it develops. But we have confidence in all those guys, including Dan and Dan's had a great senior year in terms of special teams and, and being our, our backup tailback and now it's time for him to, uh, to step on the center stage.